How's it going everyone? Week 5 with Crown Head Cigars and this week we are sitting down with the La Carim 2019 Limited Bellicoso. How's it going everyone? Mark here, Santino Sunday Cigar View, Santino Cigars and Cocktails. We are back week five with Crown Head Cigars. And we're going to smoke today what I'm already smoking and talk about. Yet again, one of my favorite versions of a cigar that Crown Heads makes, but also the, the fun packaging and everything behind it. This is the La Carême Bellicoso Fino. This cigar debuted last year as a limited to, for 2018, and they brought it back this year in their 2019 rollout. Um, beautiful cigar. It, the one thing that really sticks out about this cigar, and it's kind of hard to talk about uh, by yourself because you don't have something that kind of correlate with you, but when you look at the cigar itself and you cut it, and I know a lot of people when they smoke cigars, they don't do dry draws, or what they call a cold draw, where you check, you know, you actually pretend as if you're drawing through the cigar as if it's lit but you know nothing's going on this cigar it doesn't matter what time of day where it comes from the the quality of the wrapper on this cigar and the actual combination of tobaccos that are inside of it this thing tastes like a snickers bar when you draw through it and i, I know that sounds funny and i don't i don't usually pinpoint a taste but it's halloween and i've been eating candy for a freaking week so it tastes like a snickers bar i'm, I'm not gonna lie um Beautiful cigar. We got a Connecticut Broadleaf wrapper, Ecuador Sumatran binder, and Nicaraguan fillers. So we've got a, a great combination of a different array of drier tobaccos that usually present a lot of dry end taste, mute spices, and a orchestra of sweetnesses. You know, for for lack of a better description. But definitely one of my one of my favorite cigars to come out this, this year from Crown Heads. Um, this cigar has been reviewed a million times. Uh, it's one of the popular ones that when it came out, everyone kind of went after it and did it first. I just smoked them all, and now we're going to talk about it now. <laughs> um, beautiful cigar, though. Uh, as it comes down into its shape and its size, uh, I love the way the smoke draws through this cigar. Um, you're going to have to give me a minute so I can relight this. I've been talking too much. But the way the, the way this cigar actually operates in, in strange terms of this is a machine, the, the draw pattern on this, the, the way that it's that it's bound, the way the bunching was done on the filler, you get a very pinpoint fluctuation of smoke. Comes straight through, hits the palate, and it kind of rides your tongue. Now, I've done this with a V-cut. I've done it with a straight cut. I've scissor cut it at an angle, and I've even put a cross in it just to see if maybe the, the cutting technique delivered a different smoke. It's a trait of the cigar. The way that it's rolled, the size and the actual flow of its of its own operation <laughs> that's the way the smoke delivers from the cigar so very unique little experience um yeah let me get this thing lit we'll get into this it's going to be a goofy episode i don't usually do these things by myself so i got to kind of pretend i got someone to talk to and make like we're going to do this thing for real so you got to work with me here guys sparks is laughing too it's fine don't worry about it Mm. I can start off with something funny. Uh, all of you that know Crown Heads, you know who John Huber is? The uh, owner, man behind Crown Heads. He's a uh, last week's comment winner. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, all right, so this is where we should insert like the speed up thing with all the music in the background to make it funnier. Yeah, you know? I don't know. I'm kidding. Uh, Yeah, fantastic cigar. I don't really want to dive into all the kind of crazy stuff and, and, and assert flavors. I feel like when I sit here by myself and I start talking about what I'm tasting, I'm doing that thing I don't like that people do where they tell you what you're going to taste. I don't want to do that. Um, strength and, and body, though, I can say this has a very, very simply unique body to it. I don't want to say complex, because it's not like there's a whole array of flavors and spices and ups and downs that you get as you smoke the cigar. There's this very constant, but kind of rim-type sleep 
body that you get. So nice and calm, and then, whoop, there it is. And then you keep going, oh, there it is. You know, you're having, you're having fun with it as you go through the cigar. So let's do this. Let me take a quick break. I'm gonna smoke into the cigar a little further. Come back, we'll talk a little bit about price point, my personal main feelings about this cigar, and uh, we'll even talk a little bit about what I think they're gonna do with the cigar next year. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so we're back. Smoked into this guy a little bit more, kind of got my bearings back so we can talk about the cigar itself. Um, as I said with the body, it's got that, that fun little ride that goes with it. Strength on this, this is a little stronger, uh, medium up to a stronger cigar. First cigar of the day, little secret, this typically does tend to be one of my first cigars of the day. Um, but it's a, a, a beautiful cigar that, that comes through very, very clean. The, the mouthfeel on the cigar that I can almost only credit to the wrapper, but then also the way the combination of the tobacco burns, is instead of just having this toothy grab that you get um, from Ecuadorian involvement, Sumatra involvement, th things like that, they usually have that toothy grab. Again, this broadleaf that is on this cigar as the wrapper is drawing through a crystalline type sweetness. Um, I've said before when I've talked crown heads, when I talked about the Buckeye Land uh, almost a year ago, when we talked about that cigar, that, that cigar had such a unique burnt sweetness to the mouthfeel, to what you, you immediately tasted as you were smoking the cigar, as the smoke was coming in your mouth, as you had the cigar in your mouth. That's the same sort of thing that's coming through here. The, the cigar burns uh, um, absolutely amazing. There's no, uh, I mean, you guys saw me relight it as we got in the beginning, but that's because I, I lit it and I just never finished, you know, amateur hour. But yeah, absolutely amazing little cigar to roll with. Um, These are these are the these are the kind of cigar. What, what I what I really have to like about about La Creme across the board, the Bellicoso Fino. It, it's my size. I like the Bellicosos, uh, but La Creme across the board. It's one of, it's one of those cigars that if, if you know if you if you're like me, you can have it in the morning. Um, but if you've had a, a light lunch and you want a stronger cigar, but something that's not going to put you over the edge because you're not used to that smoking experience yet, the La Creme fits right in. But also, if you've gone out to a dinner, you're all done, you've had your great, your great meal, your fish, your wine, you've had your dessert scotch or whatever you're doing, and it's time to have the cigar, this cigar is not going to disappoint or take anything away from the meal. This is a dessert cigar that's gonna complement everything you've just done. It's the perfect ending to a night. This is one of those cigars that fits in that category. Um, and when it comes through, like when you look at price point on the cigar, uh, here at Santino's, I sell these cigars at eleven dollars. Uh, it's not anywhere off off balance of anything. I sell these rather quickly. Um, it fits right in with that beautiful eight to twelve dollar range we talk about all the time. I think you're starting to see a trend here. Certain companies don't really ever get outside that that comfort range because they want their product in everyone's hands. Um, if I have to roll into the tri buyer tonight, I apologize. This episode is not going to be as long as the other ones. I just uh, if I start talking to myself, you're all gonna think I'm crazy. So I'm gonna not do that. <laughs> um, the scars are by, without a doubt. Um, it is 10:15 in the morning, so I am not gonna be drinking yet. Sorry to let everyone down, but I'm not doing that. Uh, if I were to pair this cigar, I will tell you right now that you go with a very peaty scotch, something with a lot of smoke behind it, simply because of that crystalline, like that sweetness I'm talking about. I think it'll open that up and kind of give it that frosted finish. Um, or if you were going to the bourbon side, or actually I'm gonna skip bourbon, I'll talk bourbon. A mezcal tequila with this cigar, that slight smokiness, but on a mezcal, how the smoke really affects the back of your throat with this cigar, I think would probably be a hands down, a pairing that could, uh, you could take it and win awards with it. I really do, all right? So guys, that's week five with Crown Heads. Sorry, um, I promise I'll have someone here to talk stuff with me next week. I don't know, it'll be all right. But you guys know how this works. Please go down there, like, comment, subscribe. 
if you're 18 years or older and local to the state of Missouri, come into the store. If your comment gets the most likes from the viewers, I'm gonna hand you this cigar and maybe you'll sit next to me so I don't have to do this by myself. I don't know, it'd be kind of fun. All right, guys, we'll see you next week as we wrapped up Crown Heads. We're gonna bring in Juarez. If you don't know what Juarez is yet, you're gonna find out probably the, the greatest uh, I'm going to say discount cigar, but I don't mean that in quality. I mean that in, you won't believe what the cigar costs for the quality that it is. And of course, we're going to bring in the 2019 Las Calaveras. And we're going to finish with one more kind of hidden away that we're going to bring out just to wrap up Crown Heads for the second time. All right, we'll see you next week. Stay tuned. Remember, we drink, we smoke, we know things. And cheers.